Welcome back to the Stanley Parable. I want to point out that the game didn't lie to me. Normally I start recording as soon as the game loads. And there was nothing for it to share with, with me today. Which honestly, I'm kind of sad about. I enjoyed the relationship. This is the story the of, of the game I had. Stanley. Well, in honor Stanley of not having a company in a big or building or where he was intro. employee number 427. Employee number 427's no job idea was simple. What to expect today. He sat at his desk in room 427 we and got he really pushed buttons on lost the keyboard. In Orders came to him through a monitoring so desk of the skip telling him what buttons episode. to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day I don't of every think month the ever of change? every year. But maybe. And although others might have considered it soul ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never I think quite I've ever forget. seen this title before. He had been at his desk oh, for okay. nearly an hour must have. when he realized that not one single order it's had been arrived on the monitor the for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, Something's frozen always wrong. solid, That's Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright, well, nothing changed yet. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't know Stanley decided to go today. to the meeting room. Perhaps Maybe he had I'll simply just... missed a memo. How did we even get to the skip button thing? Wait, has it always been here? New content. Wait a second. New, new content. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, I literally can't. I can't ignore the oh, new, good. new content. You noticed my sign. Yes, yes, I did. I have something very exciting to show you. We're back. We're back on the ride. I hope the jump circle's back. That was, unironically, one of my favorite parts of the game. It's quite suspicious. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable Ooh. 2. I swear, every single time, the elevator yes, opens you see, on whatever side you're not looking to at. I don't know how they got programmed in. Think of all the like new territory time. we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. What is this here? Why do I want to test two printers at the same time? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. It's very funny. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. This is I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Can't wait for this. Valued investors. Nope. 
Wow, this is like a TED Talk stage. This is very, very funny. I again, I wonder how much of this is like. Here we are. Go on. A Try out some of the new features. Oh, interesting. Insurance bucket. This t-shirt is the best new feature. Well, that's funny. Well, do we want to go to the reassurance bucket? Infinite hole. <laughs> I feel like there's multiple things. Collectible. Oh, the jump circle's back. Okay, well. I'm sorry to say that I'm just going to the jump circle. It's the jump circle. Infinite hole. Interesting. N. And there. Jump circle's all the way over here. I feel like that's kind of hard to get to. Also, I will say, I think free achievement is hard to, to go by. So I'm going to get the free achievement. It just works. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Nice. Yes. You see, you're... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that <laughs> will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, Incredible. we hear you, and I promise it will happen. So the original game just had an achievement you couldn't get. And people complained, I'm assuming. That's very funny. Also, this is one of the first times I haven't been locked out of an area since moving to the next one. So that's fun. What else? What <gasps> other exhibits found haven't we seen yet? I mean, you already know I'm going to the jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. Yes, please. It's, it's the best oh, piece of content. You already spent all your jumps oh, the first goodness. time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. I'm mad. Let's go. I'm gonna go infinite hole <laughs> or this. Let's go here. Let's hear our name in the game. That seems fun, doesn't it? For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. Do I? So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? I swear to God, if this reads your Steam name and like puts it through a text-to-speech, I'm going to lose my mind. Jim. Sorry, I should clarify. <laughs> right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim oh. to really simulate right, the full on, experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, Me, Jim. clear your mind, forget Jim whoever Lee. you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love these and levels being heartbroken like as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, like and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. I've become him. Jimothy Chalamet. Jim. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you see? What a thrill, what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Oh, goodness. Not another time. Jim. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained no, 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 from no, no, all no, no. of this personal validation. Oh, there, Jim. cowboy. Jim. Sometimes a person Jim. can be too Jim. much, Jim. Jim. 
I'm Jim, from the gym, by Jim, the way. Jim, Otherwise, soon you'll Jim, start to lose Jim, all sense Jim, of who you Jim, actually are. Jim, Jim. That was fun. I gymmed as hard as I could. And for that, I'm happy. Happy for me. Alright, I think it's time for Infinite Hole. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. I mean, how can I go anywhere other than Infinite Hole? Please no screenshots. This is very funny. Also, all these like... Look at these little step and repeats. It's like a very thoughtful... Ooh. Quite a fancy prayer. Depth, infinite, true. Oh, wow. We have, like, diagrams for the infinite hole. Impressive. It just keeps going. All right. I'm excited for infinite hole. Is this hole actually infinite, though? Stanley, because here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Again, the game always presents things I could potentially explore. And then... There's never anything to explore. But the thought of being able to explore is really cool. Okay, I did check if the door opened or not. But even though I can go back, I will not go back. I came here for infinite hole. This is what we'll do. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Oh, absolutely not. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, we will simply but I just do recommend down you use the teleport hole. button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Nope. Infinite hole. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature I of the hole. knew it. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You yes. found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look... I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind this. us and agree to just call the hole so live in my head rent mostly. free. Infinite. Every pause button if is Roman numeral you, too. Then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Now, what if we did it again? Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more oh, no. of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, for heaven. You see? <laughs> I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. I will not normal be. person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. That was definitely faster. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Yes, I it did. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of I the wait? hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. I think this is going to be like the broom closet, where the infinite hole will be closed and I'll be very sad. I think there's 
probably one more dialogue trigger I could get out though. Ooh. I will be honest, I'm starting to feel a little bit dizzy from the not so infinite infinite hole. Looks like there is no dialogue though. Maybe if I just keep waiting. Okay, maybe not. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Oh no. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where It's becoming wow. a thing. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. <laughs> What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Now oh, there it is. we're talking. The shame oh, of my no. life has come to haunt me. How is this still appealing to you? Oh my god, I, I can't get out. With That's holes, so funny. But at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? Oh my god, I you actually can't get out. That's so funny. You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Is the <laughs> teleport button not working? It is not. You sure? I am sure. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. Still nothing. Well, I suppose... I I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. Bye. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. See, this is what the game meant by infinite hole. It's not that the hole is infinite, so you spend an infinite amount of time with it. This is fun. Oh, the sign changed. Now it says mostly infinite hole. Also, is this the first time music has been in the game? Since I loaded? It feels like it. Yes. Yes. We're back. We're so back. This has some like very absurdist science fiction to it, but it's really great, actually. This music also is incredible. How much music have I actually heard in the game? This is incredible. To the music now. <laughs> Wait, this is so sick. All right, music's dying down. Let's just change the music. I mean, that does change perception. Oh my god, it's getting better. This is all this. This is also the most number of buttons I've been able to press in this game in a long time. Why is the music getting more on here? Are we ready? Change realities. Ooh. 
Ooh. <laughs> Puppies. This seems nice. Okay, we did loop them. Let's go back to the puppies. Oh my god, incredible. <laughs> This game is such a trip, and I love it. <laughs> Stanley? Stanley? Hello. Stanley? No! Oh, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there. Oh, the drifting infinite away hole. To dreamland. But we can't have that. I got robbed. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. We going again? I'll do it again. Oh, I hit G. Did this reload the game? I think that might have been a coincidence. But we are back. Honestly, this area is great. <laughs> Which I shouldn't be surprised by with the new new content. But I think this is a good time to call it. Infinite Hole was a treat. Not infinite but infinitely entertaining, perhaps. I love this game. It's absolutely wild. I'm very excited to see whatever's next, but I guess we'll keep playing The Stanley Parable 2. Just a short moment. So like, comment, subscribe if that's the kind of thing you're into. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, thanks for hanging out.